So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and today guys, I bring you another extremely amazing XP and loot farm. This one guys, you do not want to miss, trust me. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I am giving away an ultimate edition version of Diablo 4. To be in with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Good luck. Okay, so we've all saw the one farm where there's tons and tons of elites all grouped up. That, without a shadow of a doubt, will be nerfed sometime soon. You just know how Blizzard works. But guys, I bring you another dungeon you can farm. This one's amazing for solo as well. Where there are, I wouldn't say an equal amount of elites grouped up, but there are tons and tons of elites all grouped up together. In one room, I counted five or six. In another area, there's like six or seven. In another instance, there's like another five. And there's many, many more on the way too. And you'll see gameplay of that in a quick second. Now, the dungeon we are looking at, guys, is called the Forgotten Ruins. It's located right here on your map. So you want to come down to the bottom left of your map in Kajit Stan, does that say? Kajit Stan. That's where we want to come to, people. Forgotten Ruins. So here's your closest waypoint, the Iron Wolves encampment. So you want to come to this one and make your way over to here. And it's, well, it's actually quite simple. Quite, a, quite a, a nice little trip as well. Ain't got a stress to get here. Nothing, can, nothing gonna hurt you on your way. But when you're here, guys, simply go in. Now the dungeon itself is quite straightforward. The, the only annoying part about it is in this first area here, you have to clear out the ads in every room to make your way. You have to. You can't, can't get around that. But once you do, and they're actually all easy ads to take out, guys. You progress on now. In this room right here, I'm telling you now, there's probably five or six elites which you can take down what i do was you'll see this on screen now i just group them all together bring them all together and just slay them once that's done guys i just progress on through the dungeon and I, although you will come across quite a few elites on your way the main rooms are here now once you come to the boss room you'll need two things to collect uh, one comes from down here one comes from down there you have to slot them in up by the way one at a time you can't take them both you have to do one at a time but this room here and this room there there are tons and tons of elites all grouped up together there's also guys elites in this room around the edges this one here around the edges and just just loads guys it really is absolutely low so it is a great great farm for sure for guys i'd say more so a solo farm this is easy to do solo the first one we saw yesterday with all those elites grouped up although you can do it with certain builds solo uh, it's easier, much easier in a team. Actually, better in a team, you get more XP. This one the same, but even still, this is way easier to do as a solo player because there just isn't as many elites. But there's still a great amount of elites here, which will earn you a ton of XP, a ton of loot, depending on your world tier level, world tier two, great XP, legendaries, world tier three, plenty of unique, sacred, legendaries, you name it, world tier four. Let's not even get started, guys. But yes, this is a great, great farm. Uh, I'd suggest it's one you sh definitely should use because I will think Blizzard may take a double look at this when they see it because, I mean, like I said, the amount of elites in here are, well, there's a lot more than what you see in a normal dungeon. And they seemingly, when they find these dungeons, when people post on them, when they get used and abused, uh, Blizzard basically take out a lot of the enemies, take out a lot of the loot chests, take out a lot of the elites. Uh, this one I can probably see that happening too at the same time so use it while you can guys it's a great great farm and remember if you don't know how to farm dungeons run the dungeon you don't have to do the boss if you don't want to it's just extra loot and extra XP but if you don't want to do the boss guys run the dungeon kill all the elites then what you want to do guys is if you're in a party so if you're playing with more than one person you simply just leave your party by pressing back Go onto your social and leave him past you will be here. That will spawn you then outside of this dungeon door. You'll reinvite your friends back into your party. And you can just re uh, enter the dungeon again and re so repeat the farm. If you're playing solo, guys, what you'll need to do is, once you've done what you need to do in here, press up on your D-pad and go to leave dungeon. Or come down to here on your map. So bring up your map and come down to leave dungeon. Select that. Then you'll end up outside of this dungeon door. Once you're outside of that dungeon door, guys, you want to pull up your menu and come down to leave game. Once you've left the game, then want to load back into the game. You'll reload into the game outside of the dungeon. 
simply re-enter the dungeon guys and rinse and repeat the farm that's all you've got to do but yes guys like i said a great great farm i haven't seen anybody post on this yet it's gonna it's gonna pick up i'm telling you now the amount of elites that are in here it's definitely gonna pick up so you're probably gonna see this this uh farm on a few other channels where that's completely fine uh, but yes, guys, take advantage of it while you can, especially if you're trying to level up for those. Those are levels. This is a great, great farm for that. And there we have it, guys. Now, what I will say is if you are looking for players, people to play with, you want to help people, you want to help yourself, if you want to share builds, ideas, you name it, join my Discord link down below. I'm trying to build a small Diablo 4 family. So, yes, do check it out. Show it some love. My Discord is linked down below. But there we have it, guys. The end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.